This is a free motion quilting tutorial for wind stitch. This design is a part of the free motion quilting project. Find over 300 videos on free motion quilting, lots of fillers, and information on how to quilt your quilts on a whole machine at freemotionproject.com. Now let's get back to wind stitch. This design is stitched by first starting with kind of this long uh, straight line and then you're going to go into a spiral and then spiral your way back out again. And you're keeping this in a straight line. So you're going to take that line back up and connect it with the spiral before or the starting line. Then I'm going to fill in this little space between the two spirals or between the first spiral and the edge of the quilting space with these straight lines. And you want to be kind of careful to keep this nice and straight. It creates a nice illusion and texture on the surface of your quilt when the lines are all kept very straight. Now whenever you get to the edge, you're just simply going to stitch another straight line and a new spiral. And you can see I'm taking this out, but before I take it all the way out and around, I'm going to go in and I'm going to fill this little gap first. This is going to help keep it consistent and it will, you know, kind of prevent me from having to do a lot of travel stitching to get back up in there uh, later. So I'm going to swirl around, connect with that line, and go all the way back up. If you have trouble keeping the lines straight and even, you can always mark them on the surface of your quilt or mark um, kind of registration or guidelines about every inch. It's not a breaking the rules or anything like that. Don't let the quilt police get you down about that. Um, but it certainly can help. It is time consuming. That's really about the only thing that's kind of bad about it is it's just fairly time consuming. Okay, so now I've swirled into another spiral. I'm going to fill in just a few short little lines between the spiral and the edge. And then I'm going to stitch down along that edge and create a new line with a new spiral. And you can see I'm kind of staggering these so that way they're not all uh, kind of in a row or in a line. They're not all kind of stacked up on each other. And that's going to really help the texture and effect of the design. Now here you can see I left a little open gap, so I'm going to have to figure out a way of travel stitching back in there to fill that space up. And that's going to be a little tricky, but uh, if you're patient, you can make the stitch and really not miss any areas. It's just kind of one of those things that you really have to kind of think and plan ahead which way you're taking the spiral and how you're going to get back in there. And uh, really, any time that you're going to leave a specific area, just kind of keeping that in mind so that way you can easily travel stitch in that space and get around to the area you need to get. As you can see right there, I actually got a little trapped because I thought I was on the right line and it turns out I wasn't. So it is kind of a funky design. It is edge to edge. So as long as you're moving from one edge of your quilting space to the other, you're going to be fine. And this is going to be a great design to use in the borders or sashing of your next quilt. Here's what it looks like whenever you finish wind stitch. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Tell everyone you know about the Free Motion Quilting Project at freemotionproject.com.